Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about potting and encapsulation applications. And in this case, we're going to talk specifically about the utilization of vacuum plasma to properly prepare um, devices that need to be potted or encapsulated. And um, these can be in the form of small metal cases or plastic cases or some other form of container where you might have some very sensitive electronic components or wires, um, those types of things that need to be secure into that holding device. And so what we're going to talk about today is how using plasma can uh, improve the reliability of those potted or encapsulated components. If you're not familiar with the whole process of potting, uh, it's pretty simple. First of all, you have some type of an enclosure, and it could be anything as simple as a square box to a more sophisticated geometry, but the fact of the matter is that uh, you put your different types of electronic devices in there, your wires, uh, whatever you might be wanting to completely encapsulate, you put those into the, into the case, and then use um, usually a silicone or a urethane or an epoxy resin in a liquid form, pour that into the case, and uh, once it dries and cures, uh, all of your different components are secure. Um, there's a lot of reasons that you want to encapsulate those components. Uh, it can be protect them from liquid or vapors, um, protect them from vibration or shock loads, um, pressure differentials, which may be something that occurs in a uh, spacecraft or an aircraft. Um, corrosive gases, other types of dirt and contamination that would uh, severely uh, damage or even destroy uh, these sensitive electronics. So that's what uh, the whole process of potting is all about. And the use of plasma, vacuum plasma, to pre-treat those materials before the potting or encapsulation takes place uh, does a couple things for you. Um, first of all, cleans. It does a atomic level of cleaning of those uh, surfaces, whether it's metal or plastic. You want to be sure that any possibility of organic uh, contamination is eliminated. Uh, the other thing it, that the plasma will do was it will make those surfaces more wettable, uh, make them hydrophilic. Uh, in essence, it will attract those potting materials to those surfaces. Um, once a potting resin is cured, you're, you're done. You know, if you make a mistake or something doesn't settle into the right place, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can't just tear it apart and redo it again to basically scrap the part. So it's very important that these pretreatments be done so that you don't have to worry um, about uh, adhesion being the issue that causes you to have to throw away that potentially very expensive component. Uh, one of the other things can happen during potting process is bubbling, and these bubbles uh, typically don't occur if the resins have been properly degassed, um, and that takes place during the pouring of the, of the uh, resin. But if there's residual contamination on the surface, or um, uh, uh, any part, it, it could actually act to hold bubbles. Um, and uh, once those bubbles break free, it leaves behind a, a pore or a void, and those voids can be uh, a real problem, especially in terms of electronics, um, and then the potential for contamination to occur. Um, if you remove the organic contaminants uh, by using the plasma, then the potential for this bubble formation is all but eliminated. Um, probably more important than cleaning, though, is making that surface more wettable. Um, most plasma processes are utilized for the purpose of promoting hydrophilic surface uh, characteristics and simply put plasma treatments can make the surface of a material more wettable. Um, wettable in this context means that the liquid potting material uh, will flow more, flow more easily onto and, and in and around that device that has to be potted. Uh, since many of these potting devices are plastic or have plastic components as part of the overall device, um, most plastics are naturally hydrophobic. They don't like to be wetted. 
Uh, so it makes sense that the entire device uh, made is made more wettable by using uh, surface modification. Uh, some examples uh, would be if the device to be potted has wires attached to it. Uh, making the wires wettable will allow the resin to flow freely between these close coupled configurations. If the device is a PCB that's populated with a lot of different components, capacitors, resistors, etc., uh, making these components clean and wettable will permit the potting resin to flow into all the small gaps uh, between the PCB and the components and will uh, eliminate or reduce at least the possibility of air getting trapped beneath that component during the resin dispensing. In potting applications, it's usually important to treat the housing in addition to the device. Um, by treating the housing, you'll assure that the material is clean and is functionalized or made wettable, and this will increase the adhesion of the potting material to the walls of the enclosure. Uh, this is important for a number of different reasons. First, it's generally a safe assumption that the case material, whether metal or plastic, uh, will have some different thermal expansion properties than the potting resin. By maximizing adhesion of the potting resin to the walls of the housing, uh, there's less likelihood that the housing will pull away or delaminate from the potting material. If the resin delaminates or breaks free of the housing, there's the potential for migration of contamination uh, in the form of dirt or gas or liquids getting into the device and potentially causing it to fail. Uh, just to show you some examples of some of the types of things that we have potted in the past, there's sensors, filter media, a number of different uh, devices that we've been able to effectively treat so that the potting materials, the encapsulating materials, uh, give you the best possible bond to that case material. If you'd like to get more information on how we can uh, utilize plasma to help improve your uh, encapsulation or potting applications, contact us through the Ask the Expert tabs at uh, tstar.com and we'll be happy to have one of our engineers contact you and discuss uh, potential resolution to some of your problems. Thanks for watching and we uh, look forward to seeing you again on another Tech Talk.